Hello guys, in this video we are going to see the breadboard power supply circuit. From this we can get 5 volt and 3.3 volt. Like this we can put on the breadboard. Here you can see this positive is connected in the positive rail and this negative is connected to the negative rail and this side also. This positive and this is negative now look this here it is written 5 volt and here it is written 3.3 volt 5 volt 3.3 volt we have jumper in this when you keep this jumper in this side here we can get 5 volt and if you keep this jumper In this side we'll get 3.3 volt and if you keep this in middle this will be turned off so I'm keeping this jumper here I'll get 5 volt and here I'll keep this in this side so in this power line we'll get 3.3 volt so with this circuit we can get 5 volt and 3.3 volt at the same time this has Voltage regulator IC AMS 1117. Here it is written 5.0, so it is 5 volt regulator IC and it is 3.3 regulator IC. We have to provide the power in this DC in. Here we have to provide 6.5 volt to 12 volt, and from USB we will get 5 volt. And also see this from this 4, this side we will get ground. And in this side, from these two, we'll get 3.3 volt, and these two will get 5 volt. Here I am providing 9 volt. Here it is turned on. We are getting 5.0 volt, and in this side, it is. 3.3 volt now I am changing the jumper it is 5 volt to provide power to the Arduino board you can use this okay so by using this board you can easily make a Arduino project turning off turning on and one more thing, the maximum output current is 700 milliampere. So this is the thing you have to remember. If you need more current, then you have to use external power supply. So this is all about the board. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.